Welcome back to KMM Tech. Today we are going to do an update to the last video, which was the um, the rules that I had set up um, to uh, leave and come back to my house. So if you remember last video, we went through, um, I'll show you the rules that we created. We created this arrival rule and we created this away rule. And um, I mentioned that I had had issues with um, the Hubitat presence in the past. And if I had issues during the week, I was going to come back and make a video about it and show you how I go about uh, rectifying the rule. Now, I don't know if this uh, issue is an issue that is just me. I honestly haven't done any research on it because I know that the Live360 thing just works. I have gone through in the past on my phone and I've changed a bunch of the location um, things and I know that um, Hubitat does have full access to my location. However, there are other like weird little things that I've changed for privacy reasons inside of the location security thing on the iPhone. So it is possible that those things that I've changed are causing my issue. Um, I've also seen issues where, and it's a bizarre issue. This one I actually posted in the forums years ago. No one ever got back to me, but I was using OpenVPN at the time. And when I would... Um, open VPN, when I connect to the VPN, the VPN back into my house, it would, um, it would throw Hubitat a fit and make me think that I was, um, back home when I wasn't. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go back to Life 360 and we're going to see how this works. Now, if you notice right now, my mode manager is set to away. Um, so I have left the house. Um, every day this week and come home every day this week. There are a couple days where I left and came home twice. I'd say that we're probably approaching um, 15 full trips away from my house this week um, with the errands that I've run the last few days. And um, I've had these rules work a total of four times. So um, the arrival rule has worked twice maybe and the away rule has worked twice maybe. Um, out of um, 30 potential um, attempts. So that's not a great average. So we're going to go to Life360. The first thing that I'm going to do, um, you'll see that my mode manager has listed me as away. Um, I am not away. I am home at the moment. Um, and you'll see that when I arrive home, it's supposed to set my, when, my, when I arrive at home, it's supposed to set my presence as home so i'm going to go through and fix that um so we'll go to modes here and it says current mode i'm just going to change this to home and um this is a this is a really important rule to have actually work because a lot of my rules that i'm going to set in the future are based on like the only work if i'm at home and if habitat is not re reporting my presence consistently um none of my rules are going to work. So it's very important that this works all the time. So we're going to add the Live360 connector. And to do that, we're going to go to the apps portion. And we're going to add a built-in app. And the app that we're looking for is the Life360 connector. And we're going to click on that. And it's going to do this. And we're going to enter our credentials. I'm going to cut this part out just so you don't see my ID. Um, and then I'll log in and we'll come right back. Okay, so uh, I have logged in. It says Live360 login OK. So I'm going to go and set my circle. Select my place as home. Um, and that's basically it. I don't remember what's in options. Oh, it's a family members. I don't have any other family members connected to it. So it's just going to be me. Um, and then we'll go to options here. Uh, enable debug logging. I want to enable logging. That's great. And that's it. So uh, I have now connected my Life360 account. So what that essentially does, if I go to the devices tab here, You'll see that I now have a, the iPhone, which is what we set up. This is this iPhone is the one that Hubitat um, has set up. Uh, when you log into the device at your house for the first time, it says, okay, this is your house. This is where you're located, blah, blah, blah. Um, so what, net, what has happened now, now that I've connected the Life360, you'll see that I have now have this KMM device. This is my Life360 presence. Now, 
because I've done this, what I have to now do is go change my rules so that this now becomes my presence indicator. So what I'm going to do here is go to the apps, go to my arrival rule, and I'm going to go to my trigger event. And I'm going to edit my trigger event, uh, which is iPhone arrives. So my presence sensor is no longer iPhone. My presence sensor is now KMM. That is my Life360 presence. I'm going to update this. And I'm done with my trigger event. And I'm done with this. So now it says when Life360 says I'm home, you're going to um, open the garage door and notify that I am at home. Now, I'm going to add one more rule to this because uh, I'm lazy. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, insert an action at the very end, and I'm going to control the garage doors. Now, I know you're saying, hey, you've already done this, but watch what we're going to do. I'm going to open and close the garage door. In this case, I'm going to close the garage door. And I'm going to close the garage door there. Update. And I'm going to delay this by five minutes. So now what's going to happen, I'm done with my actions. So I'm going to arrive home. It's going to say, okay open the garage door, send me a notification, and then five minutes after all of that happens, it's going to close my garage door again. So when I come inside the house, I don't have to worry about closing the garage door because it's going to do it automatically for me. So that is that. Now, five minutes might be a little long. I might change it to two minutes. But what you have to remember is that there is a, um, a geofence around your house. So depending on how big that geofence is will depend on what, how long it is before that this rule is triggered. So if you're two blocks from your house and this rule is triggered, you have to still drive home. So it's not five minutes from the second you arrive at your home. It's five minutes from when you get into your geofence. Okay. So at this point, we are done with this rule. Uh, I'm going to hit the done button. And now I'm going to fix my away rule. Um, this might cause all sorts of chaos because I don't think I've updated my Live360 um, home status. So it's probably going to mark me as away. So the garage door is going to probably open when I finish this rule, I think. But we'll figure that out and we'll get this running the right way later. So just like we did before, we're going to go to our trigger event. When the iPhone leaves, we're going to edit our trigger event. So our presence sensor is no longer iPhone. It is now KMM. And we're going to update. Still when it leaves, perfect. And we're done with our triggers. So when the Live360 event, this KMM Live360 presence leaves, it's going to make sure that the garage door is closed and then send me a notification that this has happened. So now if I go ahead oops, and hit done, I think what's going to happen is the garage door is going to open because this is still, the Life360 account is still tied to my um, old house. I should have changed it before, but I didn't. So we're going to hit done. And that's it. So I will keep you updated on this. Um, I have a feeling this is going to work a lot better than it did in the past, um, just based on what has happened in the past. So uh, this is how you connect your Life360 account to um, your. Uh, Hubitat, pretty simple to do, and if you have existing rules, just make sure you make the changes that I did. Otherwise, it'll still be using Hubitat to determine your presence. That being said, I want to do one more thing, and while I kind of talk to you, um, I don't know who it was, um, but recently, Life360, um, I believe, was bought. Uh, no, maybe not, but there is an article from December 6th of 2021. I remember reading this one. I thought they were bought and that was that, that triggered this whole thing. Um, so just know that life 360 sells your information. Uh, they will sell your 
your virtual pre- your virtual data. So wherever you go, Life360 is going to sell all of that information to whomever asks for it. Um, so just know that this is this is how they make their money. Um, and if you're okay with that, great. If you're not okay with it, don't use it. Um, I personally don't care at the moment um, whether they track what I do. Um, but just know that they are selling your information to virtually anyone who wants it. Um, so be aware. Um, you know, there's nothing that says that Facebook and Google aren't doing that either. So, I mean, uh, just know that if, if an app is free, they're generally taking advantage of you somehow. Um, you are the product, so they're making money off of you somehow. Um, so they're basically selling your location data. So, um, and a lot of that's to target advertising to you and stuff like that. But just know that that is exactly what's happening. Um, I wanted to be clear about that. And that's it. So I will see you guys next time. Um, I'm going to start getting some thermostat stuff set up and some switches set up. Um, I might not do that today. I might start recording those videos tomorrow um, because it is a beautiful day outside. It's been, you know, on the verge of 70. We're in the 70s today, I think. So I might spend some more time outside. I've already done some work in the garage and um, hung outside with the dogs. So I might go back out and do that. And then I think tomorrow it's supposed to rain. So we'll do some electrical work tomorrow. And then um, get some more videos out to you guys. Hope you guys have been enjoying. And uh, we'll keep building this smart home and getting it um, ready for just the way it used to be. Have a good one, guys. See ya.